Hey guys, I am back again with June's Yes Oh Yes um, subscription box. Sorry, it's been a very long day. I am very tired and um, I just wanted to give you guys some information on this box. I know it's a little late in the month. Unfortunately, my dog passed away and I had to take some time to deal with that. So, um, we're back. Not really 100%, but we're getting there. So, um, this month I wanted to tell you about the Glam Treasures box. This was a smaller box than we're used to. First off, let me start with the Yes Oh Yes is a monthly subscription box. It's $13.99 plus $3.99 shipping and handling. This is one of the only boxes that I know of that you pay shipping and handling for. However, even with shipping and handling, it comes out to be less than most of the subscription boxes that give you full size products. And it does give you four to five full size products every month, sometimes more. Um, I do have a, a link down below in the description box that gives you a little bonus and me a little bonus if you want to join up for the Yes Oh Yes subscription box. Um, if you don't want to, you know, if, if you don't like affiliate links or anything like that, that's okay. Just go to yesoyes.com and go ahead and sign up that way. It's all good. It doesn't hurt my feelings. But let's get into this box. And part of what I did this month while I was taking some time away was actually go through the products in this box and use them so I could review them for you instead of just showing you, look what I got in my box. So the first thing that we got was the Treasure Chest Mello, by Mellow Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. And it is, I feel like my lights are washing it out. It's kind of a champagne -y gold color. It's a really nice feeling palette. It's an amazing size. Um, it does have a mirror in it, and as you can see, I have used these shades. Now, it has four mattes and eight shimmers. I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, let me tell you about this. I think this retails for, yeah, $28 is what this retails for. Lackluster underwhelming it's a beautiful looking palette like it has so much potential but the shadows I feel like they're just pressed too hard um, I don't get much color payoff from the shimmers aside from this white um, this white is the only thing that gives me any color payoff um, gosh my light is really just kind of washing that out the rest of them you have to work so hard for the payoff and it's too much it's a 28 dollars palette y'all i can get um let me show you a few others here that do better that are way cheaper so this is the bella pierre palette that we got a few months ago in the yes oh yes palette this is like a dupe or a wannabe dupe for some of the naked palettes these shadows are pigmented you don't have to work for it the pans are small i don't like pans like this because it's hard to really get your brush in there but the color payoff is so much better and i think this retailed for like ten dollars okay you can find this at like um walgreens i think five below like i've seen them around so you can definitely get them and they're much more affordable the next is this little um, e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette. There are no shimmers in here, but the mattes are much more amazing. The color payoff, the blend, everything is here. And this was $10. So, I mean, we have that. And the next thing is, if y'all go to Ulta, you know that you get a free birthday gift every year. This is my NYX Happy Birthday palette from last year. Um, I'm not sure if you can buy this or not. Um, it has an actual palette, but it's kind of a spoof of the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Mario palette. Uh, or dupe, I guess, not a spoof. But this color payoff, these are amazing. These are amazing, and most NYX palettes retail under $15. So the quality that you get for NYX, you're not getting from Mellow Cosmetics. I had to work so hard for these, y'all. And then they just don't blend well. The shadows look muddy and I really have to dig, like dig into these pans to get any color on my brush. So it's okay. 
I've got it. I'm going to use it. It's If I need a basic look, it's going to work. If I want a very light shimmer, it will work. It's not my favorite palette. It's not going to be the first thing I reach for, but it's okay. The next thing we have is this Dose um, Punk Volumizing Mascara. Now this absolutely love. This retails for also $27. I was wearing this mascara every day. I love this. This has my favorite kind of brush on it. It's the little fluffy, you know, old school mascara brush. I love it. And it gave me such voluminous and separated lashes. It did not give me what I hate. Spider lashes. I hate spider lashes. So this was great and it was easy to come off as well. So when I washed my face and took my makeup off at night, this did not end up like staying, like leaving a residual on my lashes. So when I put it on again the next day, then it would clump together. This doesn't do it. It's clean. It's amazing. It's just everything you want. It's right here. It's more volumizing than lengthening though. So if you want length, this isn't the mascara for you. If you want volume, this is it. I don't have it on right now because I have eyelash extensions, so I don't have any need for it right now. But as soon as these babies are off, I'm going back to this. It's like right here on my desk. It's my go-to. So it's the one I'm going to be reaching for for most of the summer. The next thing we have is the Chella Eyebrow, Eyebrow Highlighting Pencil. I don't use these, y'all. Um, it's a wood pencil they're not my favorite but I don't use a highlighting pencil like this so the color is okay but it's super thick and it's a little rough to blend out for me so I'm not really sure what I would use this for but I'll keep it around just in case it might work as like an on-the-spot like um, concealer or something like that so that might work the next thing we have is the crown brush the blush brush this is amazing. I haven't taken it out because I already have one that I use every day for my blush, um, for my highly pigmented blushes and especially my baked blushes. So that's amazing. Um, we got one of these a few months ago in BoxyCharm, probably like six months ago maybe. So I've been using that. I'm keeping this one back up for when this one dies. Um, so that's where we are right now. It says the total value for this box is about $98 which is great and they spent like $18 on it so not too bad make your own decision if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down it's okay and if you're interested go ahead and click that link below get yourself on the list get the box they've been selling out fast guys and I know that we are getting another eyeshadow palette next month so who doesn't love eyeshadow palettes and with the cost of this box based on everything they did in it, it's pretty much a free eyeshadow palette. So check it out. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.